As a follow-up to our video on black beans and its potential to prevent cancer, we are going to explore whether lectins in beans are safe to eat. Lectins have received much attention due to popular media and fad diet books citing lectins as an anti-nutrient. They claim that lectins cause obesity and inflammation. Lectins are actually found in all plants, but raw beans have the highest amounts. Lectins are defined as proteins that bind to carbohydrates. The same features that lectins use to defend plants in nature may cause problems during human digestion, such as nausea and stomach upset. Animal and cell studies have found that active lectins can interfere with the absorption of some minerals. These theories have fueled the profitable anti-lectin movement, spawning best-selling books and enzyme supplements to prevent lectin activity in the body. However, there is very limited research in humans on the amount of active lectins consumed in the diet and their long-term health effects. Anti-nutrients, including lectins, are most often studied in the diets of developing countries where malnutrition is prevalent or where food variety is very limited and whole grains and legumes are important daily staples. It is very important to remember that eating foods with a high amount of active lectins is actually quite rare. One reason is that lectins are most potent in their raw state, and foods containing them are not typically eaten raw. A clear example would be dried beans. To prepare them for eating, they are soaked for several hours and then boiled for several more hours to soften the bean, which disables the action of lectins. Canned beans are cooked and packaged in liquids, so they are also low in lectins. Lectins can have great health benefits, acting as an antioxidant to protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. They also slow down digestion and the absorption of carbohydrates, which may prevent sharp rises in blood sugar and high insulin levels. Early research is also looking at the use of non-toxic low amounts of certain lectins to help stimulate gut cell growth in patients who are unable to eat for long periods and in anti-cancer treatments due to the ability of lectins to cause cancer cell death. In many large population studies, lectin-containing foods such as legumes, whole grains, and nuts are associated with lower rates of cardiovascular disease, weight loss, and type 2 diabetes. These foods are rich sources of B vitamins, protein, fiber, minerals, and healthy fats. Thus, the health benefits of consuming these foods far outweigh the potential harm of lectins in these foods. Dietary recommendations that promote the elimination of foods containing lectins are not supported by any major health organizations. Dr. Robert Eckel, a professor of medicine at the University of Colorado and a past president of the American Heart Association says, quote, This is against every dietary recommendation represented by the American Cancer Society, the American Heart Association, and the American Diabetes Association. Avoiding lectins altogether would mean avoiding almost all plant foods, which would mean avoiding a majority of the foods that the longest-lived people in the world consumed every day. I hope you found the information in this video useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like more information about anti-cancer foods. Thank you.